Yeah. You've just put together a cool idea and would like to now progress to adding a new level of emotion into your track. Preferably with a bit of a melody, some chords, but you just don't know the music theory. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to generate melodies and chords. So let's dive in. Let's say you've just put together a drum groove that sounds like this. now you'd like to progress to the next stage of the track or add a new melodic element that fits to the vibe of this track. Here's where it gets interesting. So I'm going to create a new MIDI track and within this MIDI track I'm going to load the Roser Advanced Step Sequencer V2. It might look complicated but believe me it really isn't that hard to understand. And for the sake of demonstration I'm going to go through a few samples here that already contain a bit of a melody or harmonic progression but don't worry we're going to change it up in a second. I really like this one and I'm going to just drag and drop it to where it says drop instrument here. I'm going to put it to slice mode. That's really important. Now I'm going to reduce the volume on the track and we're going to hit play. And you can already see the step sequencer working here. Now we're on the pitch parameter, so we're going to have to randomize these notes over here to let it jump between each and every single slice here. Okay. Now let's change the length from 16 to 32. So we're doubling the length here and we're going to hit randomize again. Okay, it's already heading there. And remember, this is just an idea for a sound. We can always hit swap mode or hot swap mode and double click other sounds that we like. Repitch the sound here. Let's turn off hot swap mode. Let's say I like this one. But I'd like to change it up even more because it still feels like it's too much of the original sample. So what do I do from here? How about we go into the velocity parameter here and randomize this as well. You can see velocity here. Hit randomize and it randomizes the velocity here. So there's a bit of a volume shift on each and every single note. Let's do that again. Change it to 32 as well. Randomize. Nice. And if you don't want to go through each and every single one of these layers, you can also hit randomize all and it'll randomize you every single parameter of the sequencer here. Let's see how this sounds like. And by utilizing the parameters of this simpler over here, we can make this even shorter of a sound and give it a bit of an attack here. Then again, if I feel inspired to use another sound, I can always go back into hot swap mode and swap out the sample. And every sound has a bit of a different vibe. Reduce the sensitivity accordingly. Slice by beat, eighth note, let's go back into hot swab and choose another sound perhaps. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Just mess around with the pitch here. Yeah. And since we're using a sample that already has a fixed key, then don't get this wrong. This key knob over here is not going to change the key of the sample. It's just going to select a different region of the samples that are being played. Pay attention to how it sounds. Now it's like slightly different. So you can get a bit of a tonal rhythmic shift with this here. Japanese. You can see this extra panel over here doing some random movements. That's the parameter panel. This is parameter one that we have selected here. We can switch to parameter two. This is two. This is three, three, four, four, five, five. But for now, we're going to stick with one. Going to draw in a sequence or we can also randomize a sequence. Hit randomize until we feel like we have one that is right. And what we can do now is hit map and map it to, let's say, the frequency here. And once we hit play, 
it's going to adjust the values here as steps to the frequency. And we can adjust the curve, the smoothness, the jitter, the randomness. And it always tells you what parameter you have mapped here. And to take this a step further, we can also add in some kind of a delay and map parameter two. I'm gonna select parameter two, parameter two. I'm gonna hit randomize, map this to, let's say, the feedback. This is some really, really advanced stuff. I love it. Using just this sequencer here, you can generate a lot of different ideas using samples or synthesizers. Let's say we found something that we really like. Now we'd like to take it a step further. I'm gonna create a new audio track here. Within this audio track, I'm gonna select track 19 as our input. So everything that's coming out of track 19 is going to be routed into track 20. Let's record arm this track. And now let's hit record. Perfect, that's more than enough. I'm gonna delete the extra little snippet at the end. And now we're gonna hit right click. And since we do have a bit of a chord going on in the background, I'm gonna choose convert harmony to new MIDI track. If you have a melody with just single notes, you could also choose convert melody to new MIDI track. So let's do harmony to new MIDI track. I'm gonna take a bit of time to load. And now it gives us a new track over here. Let's make sure to mute the first layer over here and also mute the original roster layer. So we only have this track playing. This is dope, dude. Literally generated us a patch of chords. So let's double click, select all, hitting Command A or Control A, and then Control U to quantize. You can also hit Control Shift U to open up the quantization panel and select the amount of quantization or the grid. We're just gonna hit apply. And to be honest, I originally intended to generate a melody for this video, but it seems to be so powerful that it can even generate you chords. So I'd say this is a pretty strong tool. And we wanna replace this default patch with another one. I'm gonna load up a synth of my liking. I'm going to take Diva for that. Go into presets. Going to select a few presets from my Tulum pack that I've recently released. I kind of like this one. So let's go into this panel here and really dial in on our sound. So let's say we want to delete this last section of our sound and just keep the first half. Hit Command A, select the correct region and then duplicate. And if you'd like to test out a different idea of your chords, you can select all of these and just hit invert. So it inverts your chord, it basically just flips the MIDI upside down. Really cool way to generate a bit of an inspiration for you. I'm gonna hit Command Z for now to keep my original chord pattern. And then I can loop a certain section that I like. I hit Command L. This is so awesome. And all of this came originally from our Roser step sequencer. So what we can do is also blend in the original layer. So I'm gonna just enable the first track here maybe transpose these up an octave. Add a bit of cueing. Now, if that isn't just the absolute coolest way to generate melodies and chords, then I don't know what is. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy. Enjoy.